Do you want to know my top 10 most comfortable shoes for spring and summer? Keep watching. Hello everyone, it's me Serena. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I have a often requested video for you guys today of my top 10 most comfortable shoes for spring and summer. Now I have done versions of this video in the past. I will be sure to link it. That video has more fall and winter, I guess. It's got some boots and things. Since we're going, we are in spring and going into summer, this one is going to be more focused on sandals and other shoes besides sandals, but no boots or anything in this video. Everything that I'm going to be talking about today will be listed down in the description box below, and I'll put it in the first pinned comment. But be sure you check out the description box because I do have discount codes with several retailers, and I put that in the description box, but that's where all the good stuff is. My first shoe that is in my top 10, and this is no particular order, it's just my most comfortable shoes, is the fake or faux Birkenstock sandals from Time and True at Walmart. These are a perennial bestseller on my channel, and it's because they are less, either less than $20 or right around $20. And they are inspired by Birkenstocks. And yes, I know Birkenstocks are higher quality. They're also much more expensive. And I have some Birkenstocks, but I actually prefer the Walmart version, and I'll tell you why. The, Bir the Birkenstocks do have the molded footbed, but it is not cushy at all. And I find it kind of hard on the bottoms of my feet. Now, some people love Birkenstocks. My daughters do, they love them. But for me, I reach for the Time and True version so much more often. And I've got several of these. My most recent purchase or addition to the collection, I should say, is this metallic version they came out with this year in the little toe wrap style. I love these and they do have the more cushy insole and like the really soft kind of like faux suede. These feel so good. I can walk and walk in these and I love them. I also have them in just this two band style. I have these in the cognac color and in a gray and the other style. I have those in three different colors. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of these sandals. You can tell these are well-worn, but they're holding up nicely. I've had these for a couple of years and they get a lot of use and I love them. I wear them. And the th reason they work for me, and I think they'll work for a lot of people, is the adjustable buckles because I need more width through here because of the bunions I have on my feet, but my instep and around my ankle and my heel is actually quite narrow. So I need to be able to adjust this strap to make it tighter so that they stay on my feet. So with this two buckle design, I can tighten this one up and loosen this one up and get a fit that is great for me. And for the price, you can't beat them. And I know you guys don't see me dressed in boho <laughs> type outfits very often, but for these sandals, that's what I went for in this outfit. I've just simply got on a graphic tee. This one is from Evereve and some Gap denim cut off shorts. And then I topped it off with this lace kind of kimono shrug that I found at Marshall's. And I love this. This is going to be so great for layering in the summer over tank tops or t-shirts when you want that third layer to, you know, zhuzh up your outfit, but you don't want anything that's going to make you hot. This is just open weave lacy, and I think it gives a neat bohemian kind of vibe to this graphic tee, denim shorts, and footbed sandals. Let's move on to the next sandal. Before I get into the next pair of shoes, I wanted to share something really special with you guys. And that is my plaque <laughs> from YouTube 
for hitting 100,000 subscribers. You get this once you hit 100,000 and it's the silver play button plaque. And yes, it's mirrored here, so sorry about whatever it's reflecting. And then down here it says presented to stylist Serena for passing 100,000 subscribers. And then it's got YouTube embossed down here. So this is something special that I worked really hard to get this, but I couldn't have done it obviously without all of you. So again, I just wanted to say thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for being my loyal subscribers and for watching my videos. It truly means the world to me. The next sandal that has very quickly become one of my most favorite and most comfortable sandals is this one from Land's End. I did a whole video this past Sunday that was Land's End, a whole, an entire haul that was sponsored by them. And I did swimsuits and casual wear. So if you haven't watched that, be sure to check it out. And one of the things that I got as part of that video or these sandals, they're called the Errand Runner. And that is just the perfect name for these. You can slip these on and wear them practically with anything. I mean, you can wear them with pants, with dresses, with shorts, you name it. And again, they're adjustable, they're Velcro across the toes, and they have two ways to adjust them around your ankle with Velcro and across the top of your foot. So you are sure to get a custom fit with these. And they are so soft and so supportive. They have a nice arch support in here. They're very flexible and just, you feel very sure-footed in these. They have nice tread on the bottom and they do come in additional colors, but I like a neutral shoe that goes with just about anything. So this is a great color. I think it's called khaki. And with these sandals in this outfit, I'm wearing some other pieces from Land's End. I'm wearing these seven inch inseam chinos with this kind of boxy fit striped tee. And this is just my classic kind of summer outfit. <laughs> if you ran into me at the grocery store or wherever, just about any time in the summer, this is what you're gonna catch me in. T-shirt, shorts, and some comfy sandals. And these sandals go great with this. And like I said, they would go great with dresses, some ankle crop pants, jeans, whatever. And this is real leather across the top and the insole is sculpted and lined with this kind of faux suede like material. Very comfortable and very nice. Okay, these next few sandals, <laughs> they raised some eyebrows. I shared them recently in an Instagram story or post and on the community tab. And a lot of people did not like them and said they looked frumpy but these are not frumpy sandals and they're very much trending right now. You may not like the way they look, but they are definitely made for comfort and I love them. So I'm showing you some different ways to style them. The first pair is uh, this pair <laughs> from Sorel. Sorel makes uh, waterproof winter boots, snow boots, hiking boots. They also make sneakers and they have started making a line of sandals and they have all different styles. But I thought this one was just so cute. I like the wavy thing on the bottom. Now, I know this is a lot. It's <laughs> kind of the bone color with some lime green around here and then the bottom is orange. And yes, this is a lot going on, but they do have other color combos that, you know, they have black and white, gray, some more subdued colors, but I thought this one was really fun. So first of all, I'm wearing this with some wide leg linen pants. These are from Old Navy. You guys have seen these before, maybe in another color. And I'm wearing it with the white ruffle sleeve T from Land's End. And this just gives you some height. You know, this is a great way to add some height if you need it with some longer pants and still be super comfortable. Y'all, these are so comfortable, I cannot tell you. And even though the front band is not adjustable, they're wide enough for my feet and my bunions. This is adjustable, so you can adjust it to get the tightness that you need. And these are like walking on clouds. They feel amazing. And I 
added these beaded earrings from Chico's just to tie into the orange that's on the bottom of the shoe. And another way I think this style would look really cute is with any kind of like sport or athletic dress. So this one, this is kind of an athleisure type dress from loft i showed it in a previous loft video but something like this maybe not in black but this style of dress goes really well with this style of sandal it's just a really cute look and another pair of the sorel sandals this is Woo! Yes, they're bright and they are orange, but these are some slide sandals from Sorel. Again, so comfortable. And these come in additional colors too. You don't have to go wild with orange or lime green. They come in a lot of different combos, but these are so comfortable. This leather is so soft and pliable, molded right to my feet, bunions and all very comfortable and they're very true to size and with these with the wavy edge on the bottom it's almost like a tortoise shell look but these have great treads on the bottom they're not heavy and they are really comfortable and i thought these looked cute with this navy dress this is a dress i picked up last year from avara but they have one very similar this year that i will be sure to link and orange and blue are a match made in heaven. They go together great. So I thought the orange in these shoes was a nice pop of color with the navy dress. And with these beaded earrings in orange, it balances out the outfit and makes it look more intentional. And this is a fun outfit that I would wear just about anywhere on a hot, warm or hot spring summer day. The next sandal that I find incredibly comfortable, so much so that I bought a second pair this year, and I get a lot of comments on these as well. <laughs> there are a lot of polarizing opinions on these sandals, and that is the Mona sandal from Steve Madden. These came out last year. They were wildly popular. Last year, I got the black that you'll see in a moment. And this year, I wanted to get another color, so I got the bone color because I figure between the black and this bone color, you know, I've got my bases covered. These are so comfortable, y'all. And again, they've got the adjustable Velcro across the toes. I can get them exactly where I need to to be comfortable for me. And then the same back here. You've got, that's just a faux latch it's velcro and you can adjust that and get it where you need it to be comfortable for you they have the molded footbed arch support padded feel great they're very flexible and i wore these on vacation last year and walked and walked and my feet were happy the whole time so i think these you can really wear these with jeans with cropped pants with dresses here I'm just wearing these bone colored ones with this little seersucker dress that you guys have seen before. This is from Walmart and it's less than $20 and it's a super lightweight, cool, breezy dress for spring and summer. And these would be great to wear with a dress like this when you're shopping, you're on vacation maybe, sightseeing, you're doing a lot of walking, but you still wanna look cute these are the sandals for you. And yes, I know they may look a little bit clunky, but I promise you guys, <laughs> these are very popular. They're very much on trend right now. So if you put these on, you're not gonna look like you're wearing orthopedic sandals. You're going to look stylish and on trend. And here are the black ones that I got last year. And I'm wearing these just with a tee and shorts that are from Loft. And this just kind of punctuates the outfit and matches the black back to the top. You know, that sandwich dressing where you match your top to your shoes and pulls the outfit together. And again, this is just a great everyday look. The top has got some detail here on the sleeves that makes it not just a basic tee. And this is a cute summertime outfit with comfy sandals that are gonna keep your feet happy. If you're enjoying today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That way I'll know to create more content just like this. And while you're at it, 
please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's free, and that way you won't miss out on anything here on Style with Serena, especially if you click subscribe and hit that notification bell. It has come to my attention <laughs> that several people who have been subscribed to my channel for some reason were unsubscribed. And YouTube does that every so often. If you're not active on a channel, if you're not hitting the thumbs up, if you're not commenting, then they think you're not watching or that you don't want to see that content anymore and they will unsubscribe you. So check and make sure that you are subscribed. Another sandal that is definitely for comfort, not really for looks, but these have been like my most comfortable overall shoes probably of all time and that is my flip-flops by ufos and these are so worn <laughs> you can see on the bottom i need a new pair because they've kind of lost their bounce these are really made to be recovery sandals if you're a runner or anything like that you know after you take off your sneakers put these on to recover because they kind of have an exaggerated arch and they're super bouncy and springy and they just feel like clouds under your feet. And I can't recommend these enough. You're giving your feet a treat when you slip these on at the end of the day after you've been wearing maybe some more uncomfortable shoes. These are wonderful and they come in all different kinds of colors too, but I couldn't do a shoe video without mentioning my Ufos flip-flops. So unfortunately, we can't live just with sandals. <laughs> we need some other shoes as well. And one type of shoe that is super versatile and goes with everything and is very much on trend right now is the ballet flat. And I've got a couple different ones that I love for their comfort and other reasons. And I'm gonna show both of these to you with the same outfit. Um, but first up, is these Mary Jane flats from Vivaya. Y'all know that I love Vivaya shoes. I have black ones, tan ones, leopard print ones, red ones, you know, the list goes on and on. And I love them because they're stretchy. They're made of this stretchable fabric. They're breathable. So you can wear these in the summer and your feet are not gonna get hot. And the insoles come out so you can wash the shoe and refresh them if needed. But these are in this denim blue color, which if you didn't know, denim in shoes is very much on trend this year. So these blue ones look great with any kind of jeans outfit. They would look good with white, pink, whatever. But I'm wearing these with this little top from Nick and Zoe and a pair of my new favorite jeans. These are the girlfriend ankle crop jeans from Chico's. And these jeans run roomy. I'm wearing these in a size double zero, which is a two, but I don't wear two in anything else. <laughs> Chico's just, they're very much into their vanity sizing. These are more like a four, but I love the jeans and these shoes go really cute with this outfit, but you can wear these with shorts outfits, with dresses, with khakis. So if you are in a workplace environment, you know, maybe you can't wear open toes shoes. This is a great option for the summer because it's going to be comfortable. You can walk in them and it's not going to overheat your feet. The other flat shoe I'm sharing is this ballet flat from Bionic. Now Bionic is a comfort shoe brand and anything from them is going to be fabulous. I have in the past had some of their sandals and they're wonderful. They provide great arch support. The insole of these shoes is a soft suede fabric and I got these last fall in a silver because metallics are so big right now, they continue to be. And they've got traditional ballet flat designs with a little bow. And if you're not into metallics, these come in a lot of different colors. This is a style that Bionic has had for a long time. They always have this style of shoe. They might just change up the colors for the seasons, but these for standing for a while, being on your feet a lot, these provide the support you need. And I forgot to film a try on segment with these shoes, but you've seen them a lot on my channel. And I would be remiss if I did not mention 
these loafers from Cala. Cala is based in the UK and the company was founded by a woman who has bunions and she was tired of not being able to find comfortable and stylish shoes that fit our unique problems when we have bunions because we need wider shoes in the toe box but we don't need them wide all over. So these are a standard width in the back where the heel is, but you've got more room in the toe box. But as you can see from the shape and the style, you can't really tell. It just looks like a normal shoe. And that's the beauty of these. And now these are pricey, but as you know, if you have any kind of serious foot issues, a comfortable pair of shoes is priceless. And these from Cala are so comfortable. I can wear these. I could walk in these all day. And they are just made exceptionally well. They're great quality. And you're gonna see another pair from Cala in an upcoming look, but I did want to share these loafers again. If you want to see more content from me daily, and if you want to check out all these items first before I have a chance to produce a YouTube video, then be sure you're following me on the Like to Know It or LTK app. That is where I post everything first. So you're going to get first dibs at everything there. So that's your best bet to shop my looks before things have a chance of selling out. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I'm style with Serena everywhere. So the next category that you can't ignore when you're talking about most comfortable shoes is sneakers and we have never had more variety <laughs> in our sneakers than we do today there's a different style of sneaker for anything you might want to do and it can be overwhelming but here are my favorites first for a cute fashion sneaker this is one that you would wear with casual dresses, with your shorts, maybe with jeans, with any kind of casual outfit that isn't athleisure or athletic wear. So I'm talking about this kind of classic sneaker, like your kids, something like that. This one is from Cala. They are so supportive. I mean, I can walk all day in these and my toes, my feet stay happy because of that extra width through here. I don't have any pain, no friction, no rubbing, and they're very cute. They have a low profile. They're the perfect sneakers to wear with a casual dress like this navy one that you're seeing again. I just love this look of a casual dress with sneakers. It's a great spring, summertime, running around look when you want to be casual but cute. This is the way to go. Now I have two other options for this type of sneaker. The other one y'all have seen so many times on my channel and it's the P448 John sneaker. I have these in two different varieties and even though they're not made for people with bunions, I find that they're plenty wide here in the toe box. Plus you can adjust the laces, which is what I did to give yourself more width here or wherever you need it. And these are made in Italy and yes, they're pricey. So are the Calas, but for good supportive shoes, you're gonna pay, you know, a premium. And some shoes may be comfortable. They may have the memory foam and all this stuff and they feel good to put on, but they don't provide the support for wearing all day. These do. These are made just incredibly well. I have worn these all over New York City, Washington DC, Amsterdam, <laughs> you name it. I've worn these shoes all over the place doing serious walking and my feet have never complained about them. And they are very similar, as you can see, to the Calas. But now the P448s, they do kind of have that scruffed up look, not as much as the Golden Goose, but a little bit like that. You know, they just look a little bit more broken in, whereas these were a bright white when I got them. And I put a few scuffs on them, but not too bad. Now, another sneaker that is a great option for a more fashion sneaker that isn't quite as expensive is the Nike Daybreaks. 
I have these in two colors. I love them. And whereas those other two are leather, these, well, they're trimmed in suede, but they're mainly nylon. So they're not going to make your feet as hot, I guess, as the leather can. And they're super lightweight. So they're supportive, they're comfy. If you're gonna be running around all day and you don't want like your workout sneaker, because like I've told you, nothing kills your outfit quicker than putting on your big hokas or on clouds or whatever with a casual outfit. If you want a casual sneaker, be sure you're choosing a cute one like this. My next sneaker category and yeah, who knew sneakers had categories, <laughs> but they do. And I would call this the athleisure sneaker. So it's not something that you would do running or you know, like hardcore walking in like for exercise, but they're super, super comfortable. And my favorites in this category that I wear with my athleisure gear is the New Balance 327s. These have been wildly popular for the last, I don't know how long, and they are super comfortable. Once I got them, I totally understood what the hype was about. Again, they're made of nylon, trimmed in suede like those Nikes, and they have the really big exaggerated N on the side for New Balance. They also have this waffle textured sole and kind of the over-exaggerated you know, heel wrap in the back. But these are phenomenal. I love them. I wear them with all my athleisure outfits. So if I'm wearing leggings and a sweatshirt, but I'm not working out, these are the shoes I wear. If I'm wearing an outfit like this Spanx set, this is what I wear. They just go with all those athleisure type looks. And yes, you could wear your athletic sneakers, but these are fun and just, you know, kind of a step down from your hardcore athletic sneakers, but they still have this very athletic look. I would also put these, the Nike Daybreak, in that same category, the athleisure category, but these are not quite as, you know, chunky as the New Balance. And so that's why I feel like you can get away with wearing these with the dresses and things like that. They're a little bit more streamlined. I got these, I don't know, right after Christmas, I think, and I have worn them so much. And because I do have a casual lifestyle and most days I'm wearing something like this. This outfit is two pieces from Spanx. It looks like a set. They're sold as separates though. They're not sold as a set. It's the polo collar top and the taper pants in the Air Essentials fabric. And this stuff feels like butter. It is the softest, most just cushiony, pillowy, cloud-like fabric. I can't describe it. You just have to feel it for yourself. And it is cozy, but it has a way of keeping you cool at the same time. I, I don't know how, but I have this in two colors now. I got it in black and I liked it so much that I went back and got this color. This is called Storm and it's this kind of dark grayish purplish blue color and I absolutely love it. But this is a great outfit for every day, for a travel outfit, for whatever, because you're super comfy, but it's just elevated a little bit. And this is the kind of outfit that I definitely wear with my 327s. And these come in all different kind of colors. There are some really fun color combinations in this shoe, like pink and blue and yellow and I don't know, they have a lot. So I love these for athleisure looks. And of course, with sneakers, you have the athletic sneakers. These are your Hoka's, your On Clouds, your other kind of Nikes, your New Balances. This is my favorite shoe. I've tried the Hoka's, I've tried the On Clouds, I've tried a lot of different sneakers for walking because that's mainly what I do for exercise. I walk three miles plus uh, I try to do it at least five days a week because it clears my mind. It makes me feel good. It gets me outdoors. And these are the shoes I walk in. And these literally feel like 
I don't know, I feel like Tigger. <laughs> I've got springs under my feet when I walk in these shoes. They are phenomenal. And I actually need to get another pair because I've done so much walking in these that the bounce is kind of out of them. But this is the Fresh Foam More sneaker. And I can't say enough good things about this shoe. And yes, mine are kind of dirty. I don't know if you can tell, but it's because I've worn them so much. And for athletic wear, these are it. And like I said, I've tried other brands and I keep coming back to this one. This is the second pair I've had and I'm gonna go get a third. I love them that much. And while these are not a wide width, I find that New Balance has a wide enough toe box for me that it's comfortable. And this is stretchy and these are so, so cushiony and comfortable and supportive. And you may see a different color insert. I do get an additional insert. I go to Fleet Feet when I get my shoes and have them fit me properly and I get an additional insert for a little bit more arch support. And that makes a huge difference too. Not just buying your shoes and going with the insole because usually that little insole is pretty flimsy and doesn't do a whole lot. So if you want more arch support or if you have any foot issues, insoles are where it's at. And so I get these at Fleet Feet when I go get my shoes, but you can order these from the New Balance website and different places. So I will link these down below. I just, I buy mine at my local Fleet Feet store, but most comfortable shoes I've ever had. And I've had Nikes, I've had Brooks, I've had, I don't know, all these other brands. I keep coming back to these. So these are my all time favorite. And here I'm wearing them with an athletic outfit. These pieces are from Land's End and it is this Skort, activewear Skort and Polo. These are made out of athletic, moisture wicking, quick drying fabric. So this is what I would wear with this kind of shoe. I would wear this or I would wear leggings or I would wear shorts or another kind of skort and a tank top because the only time that I'm wearing these <laughs> is when I'm working out. And I know that they're comfortable and you may feel tempted to put these on with your other outfits, but like I've said in other videos, that is a rookie mistake. That is a quick way to take your outfit from cute to not so cute or to frumpy is to wear an athletic sneaker with a non-workout outfit. So I keep these strictly for exercising and wearing with my exercise gear. So do you own any of these shoes? Let me know. And remember, all of them are linked in the description and the first pinned comment down below. And let me know what some of your favorite comfy shoes are. I'm sure I've missed some that you all love, but this is just my experience, my most comfy shoes for being 54 years old and having some foot issues. I've had plantar fasciitis, and of course, as you know, I have bunions. So this is what works best for me. Thank you all for watching today, and until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye.